Attending the conference was KCBS 2's news anchor, Laura Diaz. Hispanic Lifestyle started off our conversation by getting her perspective on why she was supporting the Latina History Day event. Well, I always think that there is strength in numbers. And um, at an event like this, it allows me to meet up with some old friends, to make some new friends, and hopefully to encourage others along the way. Uh, it's really important, I think, when you're in any position of power to reach back and help somebody else. So by me being here today, um, I not only have the opportunity to make new friends and learn about new experiences, to be inspired, but also hopefully to talk to young people who are here today, maybe pass out a few cards, and um, even just by appearing here sometimes, your presence can make a difference to somebody else. Well, of course, I think that all of us as we're growing up, uh, we have role models along the way. In my family, it would have been my mother. I have a sister who's five years older than I am. Uh, and just people that I looked to in a public forum, whether they were people I admired in entertainment or other journalists who I aspired to be like, um, we all have them in our lives. And they're so important because they teach us to reach for the brass ring. And it's very easy, I think, in any community to sort of fall to your lower self and not be the best you can be. So we're all looking for somebody we admire and we think, okay, if that person did it, I can do it too. Ms. Diaz is a standout among her peers in the broadcast news industry. We asked Laura her thoughts on being the only Latina sitting in the anchor chair among the major networks in Southern California. I'm a little bit surprised that by now in 2010, there isn't another Latina on in a major position in, L in LA, in Southern California. I I'm a little surprised by that. Um, I was named to the position in 1997 when I was still at another network. I jumped networks about seven years ago. So um, am I surprised? Yes. I think that uh, you should reflect the community in which you broadcast. And obviously Southern California is very diverse, uh, people of many backgrounds, but if you look at the numbers, uh, it, it is a highly uh, Latina, uh, Hispanic area. So um, I hope that time would come, that perhaps there would be more of us out there. There are other people of my ancestry on the air. Um, it's a little tougher to get into those positions which are, are highly competitive which would be the nighttime slot I possess right now. So we'll see, we'll hope for the best. And um, there are many people working hard and, and I hope that in some small measure that I've presented some kind of an example that other people might be inspired by. Well, in a way, all roads lead back to the budget crisis because it impacts virtually every issue we're going to examine today. When you, when you put it through the prism of uh, all the cutbacks that are occurring, it will literally affect everything, education, uh, the courts, uh, law enforcement, it's all inclusive. Um, and obviously that affects everybody no matter what their background is. But when you're already in a community that is compromised by a lack of education, by a lack of resources, uh, by a lack of money, it really does intensify the experience. So I hope that all of us that are in leadership positions would take the time out of our own lives to help somebody who doesn't have the same advantage that we do. Uh, it is one of the most important reasons, I think, to reach back to the community, whether you're giving of your time, uh, you're giving in a public forum like this where maybe you give a speech, or just even taking the time to, to read to a child who perhaps needs your help, who does need that mentorship to occur. We finished our conversation with Ms. Diaz by talking about her future plans. Well, I would hope that um, when, I'm, uh, when I've decided that it's time to lead the anchor desk, and I've certainly not decided it's that time yet, but I would really like to do documentaries. I would like to produce other young talent. I'd like to be like, like a Latina uh, Barbara Walters and find you know, the next young person coming up who might want to do the same thing or maybe even take it to the next level because obviously what we hope is is to uh, that the next person coming up would be able to do even more than we did. So that would be my greatest hope that I could mentor and shape some other young talent coming up. And also I think at the end of the day to be in charge, to be the producer. Um, I'm the one on the telephone. I'm the one sitting there in my jeans saying, okay, this is the way you do it and um, hopefully setting a good example for them in the process, that would be my fondest wish.